All right, we're on day 23 notes, part two from unit three of calculus. So uh, we're now looking at the differentiation rule for the natural log functions. And what we're going to do here is um, the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of anything, any function we'll call f of x, is just going to be equal to the derivative all over the original function. So let's look at this first one. So when I have the function being the natural log of 2x minus 3, the derivative is, if we look up here, it's the derivative of what we were taking the natural log of, derivative of 2x minus 3 is just 2, all over the original function, 2x minus 3. So that's our derivative. Notice there's no natural log in there. Okay, the second one, derivative, it is equal to, derivative of the whole thing is equal to the derivative of what we were taking the natural log of, Derivative of 3x squared is, so this is just the power rule, 6x, derivative of 2x is just 2, and then this is all over 3x squared plus 2x. And that's our final answer. Okay, and this is almost easier than what we were just doing. All right, let's try these next two and check with the video. So the third one, when you take the derivative um, of the natural log of cosine of x, you really just the numerator is the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x, and all over the original function cosine x. Now this can just simplify sine over cosine is tangent. So that's our final function. All right, let's do the last one. It's easy to see this as natural log of 2x minus 4 to the 1 half power. So we take the derivative of whatever the function we're taking the natural log of. So this becomes 1 half. 2x minus 4 all to the negative 1 half, and we have to then, again, using the chain rule, times the derivative of what was inside, so this kind of combines everything we did, all over the original function. Okay, now let's simplify. When we simplify this, 2 times 1 half is just 1. Now I have a negative exponent. I'm going to bring that down the denominator, so my denominator was already there, 2x minus 4 all to the 1 half power, and then 2x minus 4 to the negative 1 half is going to be to the positive 1 half, and when I multiply those together, we add exponents, 1 half plus 1 half is 1, so we just get 1 all over 2x minus 4, okay, and that's it for part 2. And that is, um, that's everything, some practice examples for taking the derivative of a natural log function. All right? So let's go on to part three.